This Azure pickup was a little later than what we're used to. It was a 6.30 p.m. pickup and the driver did get there a good bit early. They usually do for our drop. Um, so it wasn't too bad, but it was still around dinner time. What, what is dinner time for us? So Anna and I went to the pickup. I did go ahead and have, um, we were having egg sandwiches, something easy for dinner. The bread was done, the eggs were done on the stove. So Bryant's back there getting that fixed up. Anna and I went to the pickup. The boys stayed at home with Bryant. They were fixing one of our potato beds and filling it with dirt. So they were doing a lot of shuffling and very tired and hungry. So you'll see me unloading while Bryant's sitting down and eating. He's not being rude, so please don't think that. It was perfectly fine. He, um, I mean, he shoveled a lot of dirt and he was very tired and hungry. So it was fine that he sat down and took care of himself for a few minutes. I am unloading chicken feed here. These are two different types. One is a 40 pound bag and one is a 50 pound bag. And then this is a 25 pound bag of cane, organic cane sugar. And so just so you have visuals, you can see how much is in there. A 25 pound bag of cane sugar doesn't quite go to the top of a um, five gallon bucket. Um, and then I do use the gamma lids on top. So, which, you know, is fine. Doesn't have to fill it perfectly all the way for us. We use cane sugar and soaking it, soaking it a lot more often. So honestly, I'm like 97% sure that that was my first time to buy cane sugar in like, I don't know, eight or nine months. Um, so here is some yogurt that we like to get. I do buy it in bulk here. Yogurt lasts a long time. It lasts well past the expiration date that they put on there, just so you know. And that was a good A2, A2 yogurt and we get the vanilla bean flavor. The kids love it. I'm not a huge yogurt fan and I actually really enjoy it too. So I do make sure that we stay stocked up on that. In this box, this is again for visual so y'all can tell the amount. This is a five pound bag of semi-sweet dark chocolate chips. So um, I do like to get the dark chocolate over the milk chocolate just because it does have more of a nutritional value. It actually has some benefits. And I do put this in chocolate chip cookies. I put this in sourdough pancakes. The kids like chocolate chips in them sometimes. And then we will use them in like a trail mix. So I did get that. That's five pounds because we were running pretty low. And we, of course, really, they are a little more expensive. I mean, I guess it is kind of a splurge because like they really, they're a little more expensive than just going to the grocery store. Um, but I do prefer those because they are fair trade and I just, I can trust those. They don't have metals in them, anything like that. I can trust those. I, I can go to sleep at night knowing it's okay that they have those. This box was filled with a bunch of stuff on clearance. So um, Azure has a section that is clearance and it'll be things that are dented or scuffed or the labels are messed up and they'll have them at a pretty good discount. And so I just went through and kind of grabbed a few things that we normally use. That was um, some cans of tuna. I was completely out of tuna and we like tuna salad every now and then so I do go ahead and get a, a big case of it and I'll just keep it in the pantry and we'll have it for quite a while. These are some stainless steel cake pans. I had the smaller round ones for some reason and so I saw that these were on sale this size and so I wanted to go ahead and get those. And then there's also a square one that I'm going to be pulling out. and. Um, it was also on sale so I went ahead and got those because I do like to use either the stone or the stainless steel pans whenever I'm baking. That is a bag of onions. I want to say 10 pound bag. I'm not 100% sure but um, last year was my first year to be successful at growing onions from seed and being able to harvest and so uh, while that was exciting to finally get onions we didn't get too many and I'm hoping this year we'll be able to get more. But I like to dice my onions and then freeze them and use them straight out the freezer. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing with these. And we ran out and so I went ahead and got these so I can go ahead and restock. Um, I did get some white distilled vinegar. Anna ran into the, uh, <laughs> the camera. I told you it's a raw video. Um, some white distilled vinegar, some apple juice, and then some jojoba oil, I think is how you say it. And then I did get 
um, in that mylar bag with some allspice. So this is sour cream. We get the Nancy sour cream. It is probiotic. And the boys love this. I am not a sour cream person. I don't even like this one, but the rest of my family eats this like crazy, especially when we're having nachos. So I, and I buy them three at a time. You can get more than that, but I like to buy them three at a time. So that's what I do. This is some bacon, but it's beef bacon. And um, normally they're packaged a little differently than this. They're usually, you know, flatter, so it's easier to thaw them. Um, but this is beef bacon, it's beef brisket bacon. We do really like the flavor of this. The texture is a little different when you're cooking it. Um, but if we, like the boys like it, if I do it in the oven and I basically, I mean basically burn it, <laughs> they tell me, can you burn the bacon? We like it really crispy. And so this gets a little more like, like beef jerky unless you overcook it and basically burn it. And then it has the flavor and consistency that we like. So th these are the Stacy's tortillas. It's the organic, unbleached flour tortillas. She does have several sizes, um, several ingredients to choose from. And we were completely out. We use these when we do um, tacos or fajitas, but we will also toast them in the oven and make chips out of them. And so I stocked up on these. We keep them in the freezer and then they are good for us to use.